Hey friends, Rachel Alford here from Cozy Nooks Designs, and today we're gonna go over how to make the Brick Street Throw. The Brick Street Throw uses Scarfy Light yarn, which is a new to me yarn. Um, I loved it. It makes this great halo effect, kind of like mohair ish, which is really nice. The color I used is tartan. I loved the look of this yarn. And so I wanted to create a blanket that showed off the different coloring throughout. So that's why I did these slip stitches to help bring the color up. Rows to make it look like bricks and to show off the variegated yarn throughout. Um, I did make this blanket flipping two skeins of yarn every two rows so there wouldn't be any color flashing or pooling or anything like that. But you can't tell. The, the edging on it looks very polished and refined. So let me just go ahead and show you guys how to do the repeat for it, the stitch pattern to make the little brick patterns throughout the blanket. Um, it's worked in multiples of six, and the repeat is rows 12, 12 row repeat. So if you need to make it wider or longer, shorter, whatever you need, that's the repeat for it. So let's dive in. So I've just worked a small swatch. I'm doing the seed stitch here and I have one more row of the seed stitch. So I wanted to show you how to do that. So when I turn, I'm going to knit my purls and purl my knits. So I'm alternating so it gets this bumpy ridge that doesn't curl on me. So the blanket will be bordered on the edges with seed stitch and then along the bottom and along the top we'll have this seed stitch. So let's do that together. So you can see my first stitch here is a purl. So I'm going to knit this first one, purl the next, and again, just all the way down, knitting the purls and purling the knittings, purling the knits, <laughs> the knit stitches. Um, and you can see I have alternated my skein. So every two rows, I am changing to a different skein and just carrying it up the edge. Um, that way we don't create pooling or flashing like you can see here. When I first started doing the project, I was just using one skein and the color was pooling a bit. So that's when I switched to alternating it and then it uh, varies the color better throughout the project. So after we've done the beginning seed stitch border, we need to switch colors or switch skeins so that we vary the color throughout. And then we're gonna do one row of knit and one row of purl, but we do need to do our three stitches of border on each side. So first we knit this purl and then purl the knit stitch and then knit. And those three stitches are our border. So I'm gonna place my marker, my marker there. And now I'm going to knit across to the last three stitches. Two, all the way across. I'm gonna knit and then I will work the last three stitches in the border seed stitch. So I have three stitches left in the row. So I'm going to place my marker here and then I'm going to knit purl and knit. So that is row seven. Now I'm going to do my purl row after I've done my beginning border. So I'm going to knit, purl, and knit. Slip the marker and now I'm going to do a row of pearls and I'll meet you at the start of row nine. Here we are at the row, at the beginning of row nine. It's time for me to change colors again or skeins again. So I'm dropping the skein I just used and picking up that bottom strand, 
not the tail, but the one two rows below. And now to do row nine, we're gonna do our beginning border again of knitting, purl, knit, slip the marker. So now we're going to do our first slip stitch row. To do that, with the yarn in back, I'm gonna insert my hook purlwise into that first stitch and slip it off. And now I'm going to purl five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And now it's time to do a slip stitch again. So you can see my yarn is in the back. And I'm inserting my hook purlwise through that stitch and bringing it up off my needle. Again, purl five, two, three, four, and five. One last slip stitch for this row in my sample. So inserting my hook purlwise with the yarn in back and I slip it off my hook or my needle. Now I do my border knit, purl, knit. And now we're ready to do row 10. For row 10, we begin by doing the border, knit, purl, knit, slip that stitch, and then you can, or the marker, you can see this first stitch here is a purl, or a slipped stitch. So with the yarn in front this time, I'm gonna insert my hook purlwise and slip. And then I'm going to knit five, one, two, three, four, five. And again, this is my next slip stitch right here. So with the yarn in front, I'm going to insert my hook, my needle. Have I been saying hook? <laughs> I'm gonna insert my needle purlwise and slip it. Then knit five, two, three, four, five, and then my last slip stitch, insert my needle and slip. And then we knit, purl, knit. So we've done the majority of the repeat. You can see the slip stitches being brought up rows, which is what creates the pretty brick pattern. We're gonna repeat rows nine and 10 one more time each. And then for row 13, we do a um, knit row. So we repeat row seven. So let's do row 13 together and I'll show you what it looks like. And then we will do row 15 together, which is how we get the staggered slip stitches. I just completed row 12. So I've done my four slip stitch rows. So now I'm ready to do row 13, which is knitting across for these, this section in between the border. Um, but can we just take a quick moment and swoon over this yarn? Look how pretty it goes from red to almost like a hue of green and then blue. Oh, I just love it. I love how that looks. Okay, so I need to switch my skeins. So I'm dropping the skein I just used, picking up the bottom strand there, and then I'm going to knit, purl, knit, slip my marker, and then knit across. So just knitting those slip stitches like you normally would, knitting all the way to my marker. And then the next row we will purl, and then we will start the staggered slip stitch look which gives it that, really gives it that brick look that we're looking for. All right, slip the marker, knit, purl, and knit. Then we need to do knit, purl, knit again.
oops, splitting the yarn there. There we go. Knit, purl, and knit. And now we need a purl back across. Slip my marker, knit, purl, knit, and let's start row 15. So I need to drop the yarn that I just was using and grab the bottom strand, and then I will knit, purl, knit, slip that marker. And now we are going to do three purls. One, two, three. And now we're gonna slip. So with the yarn in back and slipping purl wise, I slip that stitch. Now I'm going to purl five. One, two, three, four, five. And then slip this stitch. And then three. One, two, three. Slip the marker, knit, purl, knit. And then let's do row 16 together. Knit, purl, knit. Purl, knit, slip the marker. So now we're going to knit three. One, two, three. And now we're gonna slip. So with the yarn in front, slipping purl wise, slip that stitch. Knit five. One, two, three. Four five, and again, slip with the yarn in front, and then knit three. Slip that stitch, or marker, knit, purl, knit. So you can see we're starting to get the two slip stitches in the middle between these big bricks that we've already made. And it just really creates a beautiful design, one that is just meditative and fun and just the perfect interest to this blanket. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you liked it. I am Rachel from Cozy Nooks Designs and make sure that you give it a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel for future free patterns and tips.